I actually have a two-part question. Uh, first for Kevin and Anthony. Um, when you make a movie like this and you have so many characters, what's the biggest struggle with putting each character in there for screen time and knowing the right amount? Mm -hmm. And then for the actors, um, what do you think about each of your characters is the characteristic that draws audiences into their, oh those God. roles? Well, I think, uh, I think so much of the credit for your first question or, or the success with, with balancing those characters goes to uh, Chris Marcus and Steve McFeely, who really know that you, you talk about, about uh, Spidey, Screen time doesn't equal, you know, it's, it's, it's quality, not quantity, right? If people have moments that land, if people have, have, a, have a laugh, if people have a cheer, that's sometimes all you need to say, this character's been serviced, let's, let's, let's move on to the to bigger story. And, and Joe and Anthony are always so adamant, rightfully so, that the overall story is being serviced as opposed to every single character in the film. Um, so you, I think that's how you take this many characters and balance a singular, relatively simple story and have them there in each of their moments where they, they earn a laugh or earn a tear or earn a cheer serve the very specific story at hand. Well, I watched the movie with a, a stopwatch to see. <laughs> 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 no? Yeah. Everybody does. Am I, I'm the only one who does that? <laughs> no, 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 I do it too. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> what is it that you think draws people to your characters, guys? Like, do you, is, do you think there's a central characteristic? Well, I, I know that Rhodey's always trying to, uh, and in this movie too, he's always struggling with what does he owe as a serviceman and what is his duty and chain of command and how must that be protected and honored but also I'm in this team of people who some of them are you know have have as Paul was saying no limit to to their power and where are the checks and balances and that's something that's obviously central to this this film as well but I think that's a, an understandable sort of fence that 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 he's on and how do you Friendship versus, you know, uh, chain of command and all those things that I think Rhodey's trying to, to balance as he goes forward with this group, the guys. Do any of you have anything to add to that? I think it's a really interesting question as we wind up. Like, what, why, why do people just love you guys? I, I just think that for, 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 for vision that the synthetic people around the world can... You know, <laughs> well, yearning, yearning to break free from the shackles of expectation. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 you know, they really get behind my uh, character. I think I you're, speak for yeah. them. Your TVQ in the mannequin world is unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Yeah, it's amazing. Right? Uh, question, since we were talking about Spider-Man a second ago, my question is, uh, how exactly did Tony know about Spider-Man, and does how he know mean that he is aware of, like, the other New York heroes? Well, in our minds, we were picking up uh, Peter Parker's story at a point after after which he's gotten his powers, but before which he's fully sort of come <laughs> out with them. Pulled you right out of that one. <laughs> uh, so he had, you know, in, in our storytelling, he has been doing some things in New York, and there's been so, these sort of Sasquatch-like videos of what he's been doing that's been showing up. You've heard word of mouth that something's happening. There's this very strange thing happening. So it's kind of something that's in the rumor mill, but nobody has been able to identify who exactly this is yet, or how it's happening, et cetera. But of course, Tony Stark being who Tony Stark is, he's one step ahead of everybody else. <laughs>